Let's take the news now. My name is Yomi Ope. In Lagos, residents of Aboru are still in shock a day after men of the Nigerian police invaded their area in an operation that left a 16-year-old schoolgirl with bullet wounds. Senior correspondent Ivy Kanu visited the area and reports that investigations are already underway to get to the heart of what really happened. This is Ayo Afolabi area of Aboru. A day before, a 16-year-old girl was hit by a stray bullet in front of the shop. The owner and other eyewitnesses say it was like a scene from a movie. Before I you know, I just had a gunshot, bam. So, before I you know it, I just saw a girl on the floor, a school girl, cr crying, my leg, my leg, my leg. So I went there, caught some guys to rescue her, to help her. So I now took her, got a bike, when I went straight to the sax men where they were standing, ah, please, you shot this girl. Is anybody can be a vape to her? Let us carry to the hospital. He said no. Oh, I was like Family and friends money. of the shot girl are that both concerned about her well-being. They were at the cage at till one o'clock in the midnight yesterday before they attended to the girl. But they said they should go and bring uh, one forty thousand. This shop owner was lucky. Another stray bullet missed her by the whiskers. <laughs> My show glass was actually here yesterday, and we, uh, the next thing we saw when we when I ran outside with my son, we saw this that the bullet penetrated here and it entered through here. Motorcycle riders and owners say they are confused on the mission of the officers in the area. So we are asking if it is if this is, if this place is among the place, he asked them to be arresting Okada so that we will be aware. He entered my company, so he broke the he broke the machine. So he carried my machine, like five machines inside my company. So her case was different, as she claims she was stripped naked by the unidentified officers. There were nine of them. They descended on me, tore my clothes, and beat me up. This building is one of such that was raided in the area, and motorcycles parked here were carted away by the police officers. Reacting, the Commission of Police says all allegations will be thoroughly investigated and those involved brought to book. The rest are sure that you will be swept under the carpets. That the assurance and good to the the public. And I look at this one now, let them know if anything happens, any infraction on their rise by any of our men, they must not hesitate to bring to my knowledge. And I promise them now, action will be taken immediately. 16 year old Miriam Shobula has been transferred to a general hospital for proper medical attention. Angered by what happened in Aboru, motorcycle riders stormed Iyanokwaja, burning tires and also attacking police officers and LASMA officials here. We also told that one of their vehicles was set ablaze. Ivy, Kano, TVC News, Lagos. Well, that's it on the news updates for this hour. Stay tuned for the weather updates, and after that, we have the newspaper headlines.